Hey, my lovelies, uh, got a quick story for you. I think you'll like this one. It's called The Rescue List. The Rescue List. It is easier now than ever before to sue a doctor. Rising malpractice insurance premiums reflect this. There are still some physicians who are willing to risk everything in the role of Good Samaritan if it will help save a life. Hawaii, August 1969. A man walking along Waikiki Beach glanced out to sea, noticed what appeared to be a pile of clothing bobbling in the surf about 30 yards out. The man waited in chest high for a closer look. It was not clothing. It was a young man floating in the water, apparently drowned. The passerby brought him to the shore. The victim had turned blue, had stopped breathing. The passerby pounded the young man's chest, restarting his heart, restarted his breathing. That rescuer was a doctor. Malibu, California. Two young women were riding up the coast on horseback when a playful dog charged across their path. Their horses reared. One of the women was thrown. In the fall, she swallowed her tongue. But someone walking up the coastline that day saw her. That someone rushed to the scene, pulled the woman's tongue from her throat, gave her mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, and saved her life. That someone was a doctor. Palm Springs, California. A work crew was installing a water pump at a local hotel when a young boy passed the construction site. The boy accidentally touched a live wire. The electricity in the wire held him fast. But a hotel guest sitting on the patio that morning saw what had happened, dashed out, running full speed, tackled the boy, wrenching him from the vice-like the, the vice -like electrical grip the boy was saved. The hotel guest who saved him was a doctor. I have a list of 19 such incidents since the autumn of 1969. 19 certain death situations in which a physician intervened. There was a lady in the dining room of a cruise ship who had fallen victim to a cafe coronary. Cafe coronary. She was choking on a large piece of beef wellington. When a doctor sitting at a nearby table realized what was happening, he rushed over to save her life. Then there was the cardiac arrest victim at a Los Angeles airport. He was rescued by an off-duty physician. And the 11-year-old boy who fell from a cliff at Rock Point, he was bleeding, dying. There was the hiker who tore a wrist artery on a jagged rock. There was the motorcyclist who was knocked unconscious by a car. There was the suburban housewife who was overdosed on Secondall and Darvon. And the 17-year-old restaurant employee who had an epileptic seizure and fell down a flight of stairs. In each instance, a doctor stepped in and acted above and beyond the call of duty and saved a life. It should encourage us and perhaps other doctors that in each of these 19 instances, the doctor was not sued. So 19 people survived alive and well because of a good Samaritan who was an off-duty physician. In each of these 19 cases, the same physician, a Dr. Max Bennis of Sherman Oaks, California, who was an allergist. And now you know the rest of the story. Ah.